Hello guys, welcome back to another, wait, not welcome back, welcome to a Hidarashi character tier list, oh baby, I don't know, I'm just in a tier list mood, man, um, I said I would do OS, uh, not OST, openings and ending tier list, which I will too, eventually, um, I just thought this might be, well, I just wanted to do this first, that'll be the next project. I just took a random tier list. This one looked the most complete. Um, Aiden, will you consider um, the changes in Go and Sotsu? It's a little hard. I kind of wish there was a tier list where it showed their older forms, though it only really matters for like Satoko, Rita, Tepe, and Rina, to be honest. Everyone else is pretty much the same with a little more closure on them. Um, I don't know. I, I'll just mention where to put it, but I think I'll just stick to, uh, stick to, um, just the OG story. I think it makes it cleaner. Um, but yeah, again, if you don't know me, hello, my name's Aiden. We have a variety channel. We have a lot of Higurashi on it, though. We got the full visual novel. We got, um, every single adaption, like, movie live action and anime reaction on the channel so if you are into Hidarashi and it sounds interesting to you feel free to check out and very soon we're actually going to be starting the extra visual novel stuff the console stuff so exciting time to get back into Hidarashi. now if you know me you might know some where some of these characters will go but um i don't know man but when you put them on a tier list, it's, it's actually a lot harder than just talking about it. But yeah, but let's start. Um, obviously, like, we need to go over the tiers. S is the best. A is great. B, I guess, is good. C is average. And D is bad. Or should we do one more tier? Just as B. I mean, I kind of... I don't know. Whatever. We'll figure it out. Octane. Atene is an interesting character because she has like zero development. She's barely in the visual novel at all. Like you see her a little bit at the end of Mayakashi. She's like in the torture room, but you don't even see her. In Sumi, she's also there for a little bit. Um, she isn't in Matsuribashi at all. And Mayatashi, she's in there a bit. I don't know. She's a she's a cool character. But, like, I don't really care about her. I guess in Go and Sotsu. You, you, again, you barely see her. Besides her being kind of cool. Like, I, don't, I wouldn't say she's a good char character, right? Because I just don't really know her. I just put her in C. Because I don't hate her or anything. She is kind of interesting. Her, like, relationship with... Kasai and stuff. It's just not something I can really judge. Atasata. Our boy. Karate master. Dude, I love this song on right now. I'm just playing my OS team. It's you can find on the channel. It's so sensual. <laughs> uh, where will I put Atasata? I like him. Um, Himitsubushi, you know. Probably like... Not, not the greatest arc. Um... I did enjoy it though, the top feel, and obviously our hero in uh, Mayatashi, and the biggest bait in uh, Minagaroshi. Um, I mean I like his character, it's not too complex, his dead wife thing made me pretty sad, I did kind of get emotional at the end of uh, Himitsubushi, with uh, the Wishi talk and the vow to uh, save Rita, or find out the truth, or whatever. Um, his fight with Okanodi is pretty iconic. Just the fact that he can, like, solo, I don't know, ten people at once. Strongest character in the verse before Go, probably. I mean, arguably. Uh, for now, I'll just leave him at B. He's a, he's a cool guy. The Mahjong game was hilarious. <laughs> She, uh, Miss Curry herself. Another, uh... In, like... 
She definitely has more development than Akane screen time. She had the curry competition. That's probably the highlight of Shia, to be honest. There's some cool moments in uh, Mina Doroshi where she's helping the class in Sumi where she gets baited by Rena. She's just like, I don't know, man. Above Akane for sure, I think. I like her drip too. I mean, Akane's is better. <laughs> I don't know why I mentioned that then. Mm. Oh, I guess like, I'm trying... She didn't really change in though. I, like, should I include uh, the OVA stuff, Ray and Tira? How much does that change? I mean, Akasat has some funny stuff. Akane's not like even in it, I think. Same with Shia, besides her uh, tight moon stuff, crossover memes. <laughs> we'll just leave her there for now. We can adjust stuff later. Hanyu. Interesting. I like Hanyu. Hanyu, I mean, she, she's interesting because if you've seen my read-through, when she was first introduced to Mina Groshi, I really didn't love her just because she was kind of annoying how well pessimistic she was. Not not for, like, not for a bad reason to be pessimistic. It, it, the vibe just, I wasn't feeling the vibe, but I loved her in, uh, in Mayatashi. I thought she was goaded there. So I've really come up on Hanyu. Seeing her in the OVAs was fun too. Just getting a little more of her. Since she is like part of the main crew. But she came really late. Um, Surprisingly not, not much. Uh, at least in my opinion. Like diff like improvement or whatever. From a uh, Go and Sotsu. I will put her at A. She also has the Banger Hanyu song. I forgot what it was called. You know that? Da, 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 da. I haven't heard it in a while. But, you know, just Google Hanyu song and you'll find it. I th I'll put her in A. I like Hanyu. She's really a uh, grown on me. Though I think she would be like bottom of A or top of B. We can change that later. Ah, uh, this fine gentleman, I believe, is. uh. Takano's grandfather, quote unquote, adoptive grandfather. I mean, I'm just gonna put him at D. He he seemed like a nice guy from uh from the little we've got up from him in the flashbacks. I love the scene where they uh, stepped on his work and Tiny Takano dives in, though that was more for Tiny Takano's thin. And I guess we did get a little bit from his note from uh Sotsu. Or go, I should say, actually. Um, but he he's just a detour. Like, I can't really put him above. I mean, I guess... No, I, d you think he might actually have more screen time than Akane? Just because the uh, Akane bat story was pretty long. But it's probably even. But I don't... I'm just going to put him at D. <laughs> Irie. Slightly controversial character I found through right reading. I personally didn't mind. But a couple of people... Don't really like his antics for good reason. I'm not too sensitive to that though. Though I don't blame you for being. A um, little bit of a perv. I will never forget uh, Totoro Doroshi. Well, actually, it was more Shion's fault. Shion made a really bad joke. But, anyways, our, our maid, Kinji Irie. Um. I like Kyrie. I think he got a really big boost in my book. Like, he, he was always, like, a mid-character, but his backstory from, uh, Mayakashi during the fragment collecting was, I thought, very good. It added a lot of depth to his character, his reasons for getting into this because of his, uh, relationship and situation with his father. I thought it was a very cool story. Um, do I like him more than Akasaka? I mean, he definitely has more screen time. And again, I don't really mind his perverted antics. Sure. I mean, I thought I had more fun with him. <sighs> mm, like, I'm sure he's on there more. And he has some funny moments, like in uh, Mayakashi while rescuing um, Tomotaki. He had the Made in Heaven thing, which was hilarious. Um, he definitely has his good moments. Besides his backstory, all the like emotional stuff with him didn't really hit. I'm just gonna leave him here for now. I might switch it up later. I believe this is the principal. Um, I think. 
I mean, like, who cares? <laughs> he, I mean, he had his funny moment in Honor Takashi when they tried to pet it, when Keiichi had to pet his head while uh, wearing all that stuff. He's a cool guy, but I think out of all of these, he probably has, like, the least amount of screen time, so I'm just trying to put him there. He's a cool guy, though. Oh, Kamita, Ace Pitcher, went to Koshin, God Tier, Foodaholic, Food Fetishist, Keiichi's Biggest Bro. Dude, people hate Kamita. <laughs> I remember... It read, when reading the visual novel, people just, like, a couple of people noted how much they hated this guy. Just because he gave, like, a weird vibe. He's a little freaky because of his, uh, food fetish thing. I think it was hilarious. Just because he's, like, his sprite looked like such a goober. Um, oh, never forget when he said, sure, I want to lit Satoko Sot, but I, I, you know, I can't miss the dessert fiesta. Um... I think he might be king of D tier. I like Kamita. He's a dead meme around here. Joking about him. Shotgun Kasai. Honestly, like, despite not getting too much screen time, I'm willing to put him bottom B. He was hilarious. His chemistry with Shion is cool. I used to call him Mr. Lanky because his sprite looked so stuffed, but he did a lot, I think. Um, I loved his little thing in, uh, what was it? In my Itachi, when it looked like he was, like, sacrificing himself with Shion, with the traumatic music in the background, uh, like, he, he's just a very cool guy. You know, Akasaka probably beats him in, a uh, strength, because Akasaka's a god, but, um, Kasa is, like, the bro. Honestly, the most bro character, even though he doesn't get enough, a lot of screen time. He probably gets more than all of these, I would think. More than Chia. I'll keep him. I'll keep him bottom B. Keiichi. Oh yeah, I gotta put Keiichi, our protagonist, in the top of A. I will say, don't crucify me. After, like, now that I've finished the visual novel for, like, a year, I probably liked Battler a little more than Keiichi. Um... But I, I did really enjoy Teichi, aka Word Magician, had some great perverted speeches, um, and just a great leader overall. I know Mion's like, quote unquote, leader, but, um, but yeah, I mean, uh, he had one of the best scenes, in my opinion. Or, well, my favorite scene in Hidrashi, if you don't know me, is uh, the scene where Tatano kills everyone, in the visual novel specifically. It's good to uh, point that out. Um, and Keiichi's death just hits so freaking hard. It was such a well-executed scene. And I just love Keiichi's attitude of, you know, don't worry about me. Sacrifice for your friends. like, And even his uh, backstory was pretty tragic. You know, shame they butchered it in uh, the anime, but we don't talk about that. Um, the whole BB gun stuff and explains why he uh, values his friends so much. Honestly, just a great protagonist. Voice acting was great. One of my favorite voice actors from um, from the cast, which I do think uh, Hidrashi has a really strong voice acting cast. These guys, you know, they're good. I mean, there's Battler right there. Maria right there. Um, but, yeah, Keiichi popped off. I, should I talk about him more? I mean, I already... Maybe I should talk about other... Like, I loved his streaming voice. That was that was one of the big things in the visual novel. Like, in uh, Watanidashi, the phone call with uh, Shion was great. His, like, streaming monologue was, like, the first time I'm like, man, this, this voice... This voice actor is popping off. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think he, he's very lovable. Um... Very charismatic and just always fun to watch when he's on stream. And you know, we kind of change protagonists, or er, yeah, protagonists going through different arts, but I, I do think Keiichi is my favorite to follow. Kim Yoshi, Bid Tay, you know, got a little boost from uh, Go and Sotsu with his really scary uh, level 5 version where he's all widdly. But. 
there's not much to say about Tim Yoshi. He's alright. I mean, he has his redeeming moment in uh, Mina Groshi. Um, see? Uh, I mean, maybe Tomita isn't Tim. Oh, yeah, his. Uh, honestly, my favorite Kim Yoshi scene is when he. Uh, when Shion, like, tasers him. And when. Like, he, he talks shit about Satoshi and Shion goes insane. Though it's more for Shion, but... Fine. Sorry. Sorry, Kamita. Or even... It feels weird putting him in C, though. Actually, let's put him in C. Ah. Uh, what's his name again? Kumatai? Kumatai? Look at him. I can't even recognize him. He looks so different from his sprite. I like Kumadai. He's he seems like a good guy. Um faithful to a wishi. Um but like I, I can't really say much about him. I don't really know him like that. Um Yeah. He's he's just the nice top. He kinda pops off in uh Sumi Horoboshi in the negotiation scene, but besides that, I mean, I don't really know. Mion, if you know me, Mion's part of my top three. She was my, you know, at, funny story. After reading Anataka, she, she was actually my least favorite member of the club. And watching Dashi and Onward. Sorry about that. What the fuck? Every time, man. It's okay. It, it wakes you up. Um... But yeah, Mion, Mion's just great. Ah, uh, Mion et Keiichi, my favorite couple. Heavily debated by our Rena fans, but... And I respect you, but I just love her. I love her personality. I was talking about a leadership role with Keiichi, but obviously Mion is the eternal leader of the club. Her voice actress is great. You know, with her dual roles and stuff. I think style-wise, she's the best, though. Like... Maybe her drip in the original um, story isn't great, but looking at the freaking the new drip from uh, Going Sotsu is actually insane. I love Mion. She's and you know, and, you know my, my my love isn't uh, unfounded because of her second place polling on the big uh, fan poll like a year or two ago when uh, Go came out. So. I'm just saying, it's, it's, I feel justified as a Mion fan. Um, but yeah, can, can we say much more about the president? I don't need to. <laughs> Okamura, bigo. Um, I'll be honest, I'm more of a Tamita fan. <laughs> okay, it feels weird. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at this. Look at the, dude, the D tier's too fat. Honestly, the bros... They don't have much, to be honest. Like, they were definitely more pre prevalent, uh... Like, they were the most prevalent in, uh... No, I mean, Watanadashi... Tatoragiroshi... A little bit in Sumi... Like, I don't know. They're kind of nothing characters, but they're... Funny... In ways. Alright, for you... For now, go back. But I'll just make the base take and say Tomito over Okamura. Um, because he owns a tofu shop. <laughs> that's that's the only reason. Oh baby, Nomura. It's kind of funny, I was looking at this tier list and it shows like other people's rankings and some guy put a uh, Tatano and Nomura in the top rank, which was honestly based because Nomura is literally like a nothing character. Like, obviously, we're gonna get to Takano soon. And if you know me, then uh, you probably know where she's going. If you don't, then you may be surprised. Um, but Nomura is literally like a, a nothing character. Like, I get her motives, how she's manipulating Takano. But, like, really don't have enough of her to, like, make an opinion. I like her drip, but. She's kind of, like, right there. I think this is the proper rating. I like Kumadai over the kids. Yeah, I mean, d is looking a little fat, but it's just these, uh, nothing characters. Ooh, now, Otanogi. This one's a little spicy. Um, he's, he's B-tier for sure. I really like his character. I think there's a lot of growth in him 
through um through uh Mayatashi. Like I really enjoyed seeing him his point of view sometimes when they're when he was facing off, like his planning, um him successfully trapping uh Tomotaki. You know, his fight with uh Atisato is right. The Mion fight was kind of a meme, but oh, he's he's a really great villain, I think. You know, he's sly where you you can never really trust him. Um I actually liked him a lot. I think over Tasai, to be honest. I thought he was pretty great, even though in Minoru she is kind of a nothing character. But right now he's 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 just B because he's only relevant in one arc, but but he left a lasting impact. Big O. I love Oishi, man. He was my favorite character for early on in Hidarashi. Um, you know, there are some times where I didn't like him. Like, I didn't really care too much about him in Maitashi, to be honest. His death scene in Minoroshi was great. Um, his varying personalities from Ani to Himitsubushi was interesting. Um, his voice actors also great. Like, he... He's he's the dirty top. No, not dirty. Like the top that bends the rules, but is out for justice. Um, he he has a very fun character arc. Well, well, while I don't like love some of the stuff in Mayatashi, I do love the ending. Um, with him, I'm talking about him specifically, where he finally comes at peace with the Sonozakis and the gravesite. It's a very beautiful ending for my boy. You know, some great moments, and then his death scene was great in Minadroshi. Him torturing Keichi, like, throwing mud in his face and Sumi was uh, always fun for me. Um, his real, his, you know, my, um, my suspicions of him in Anatatoshi when I was first starting off is also a fun thing to theorize. He's just a great character. Honestly, like, goaded. If you put Oishi, like, lower than an A, I gotta question your judgment. Though I guess it depends on that. Uh, how your tiers are or are you like i don't know like c tier honestly over kim yoshi why is kim yoshi here is the question i just can't like oh no dude no 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 kamira escaping d tier that's too much of a meme or use great though um obviously my favorite moment with her was uh in minute roshi the teichi bedding scene where that's all this like this intense music building up, like it seems like Keiichi's going all out with his words, and then Oryu's just like, "What? How? No, fuck Satoko!" And it was great. I, I freaking lost it when that happened. I love that scene. Um, but Oryu's great. You know, she she's very foul mouthed. She's strong willed. You know, she's the one person that can't be like controlled with uh, Rita's cuteness or. And then Keiichi's words. Um, but deep inside, she does care about uh, the village and people in it and stuff, etc. So, strong personality. I mean, honestly, like, why? Is, I, I'm putting Akane out of there for courtesy of Mion, but. Or use above Ak. Honestly, like, send me, dude. Send me. Queen of C tier, or you. Rena, 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 Rena. Ooh, do I like Rena more than Oishi? Yes. Do I like Rena more than Keiichi? It's so hard. I I like Rena a lot. Um, I remember saying in some time in my read through, she became my least favorite of the club members. But like, there's so many good things about Rena. Like her backstory was definitely my favorite. Um, also more relatable than anyone else, just cause uh. I am also uh, from a divorced family, so I can definitely sympathize with her. Um, like, character growth, I felt like she was probably above, like, Mion and stuff. Her cute stuff, cute mode was great. Probably best noise. Ah, oh, I can't say best noises, because, you know, the queen of noises is coming up next. I guess it just comes down to, like... What personality do I like more? And I, I am more into Mion's character. But Rena is, is great. And I wouldn't judge anyone for uh, 
put in Ren and Hire. And she's like, even though she didn't win the popularity poll, I feel like Ren is the most iconic character from Hidrashi. Like, I don't know, if, if you mention Hidrashi, I feel like people would like be like, oh yeah, is that the anime with the, the orange haired girl with the bid uh, cleaver, even though it's a hatchet. Um, so Ren is definitely the cover girl. And I think she's a great character. Um, just not like my favorite type of character, but yeah, I love Rena. Rena is great. <laughs> Rita, our real MC. Where would Rita go? Ooh, behind Rena. Rita's very interesting because I. Wait, why did I feel like I didn't? I liked Rita. I actually, now that I think about it, I probably liked Rena more than Rita. Obviously, Rita's story pits up in Mina Doroshi, and I thought she was great in Mina Doroshi and Mayatashi. You know, just her, like, kind of losing hope and stuff, you know, kind of, you know, back and forth got a little, little testy on me, but, um, you know, we're not even talking about Go, though I still think I would put her in A for Go, um, Like, then Queen of Noises, Iconic Nipa, and me. <laughs> her, her scene with Atasata, probably the best Atasata scene. I don't know how I didn't mention that. You know, when uh, Atasata was meeping and Nipahing to Rita, that was great. Um, I mean, I guess I could just say the whole chase talking of the name in the grocery. So this is the best scene, but Rita definitely performed there. Um... I guess the whole plot switch up to Rita's story is also very interesting. Though again, that's more of the plot. I don't know. I, I like Rita a lot. Again, it's more of not my type of character. But she's obviously the focus of the story. And you definitely get attached to her when seeing her through her protagonist's eyes. As the scope of the story gets bitter. Um, I'm just going to put her there. We can change her later. I like Rita a lot. Rina... <laughs> Interestingly enough, obviously, like, you got blessed Rina in Go. Though I liked Rina when she was just normal and evil. I thought she made a great mini villain. Probably one of the more shocking deaths from Rena kills Rina. Um, just because the build up to it was Rina was literally like, when when she enters the garbage dump, you're like, okay, Rena's gonna kill Rena. When Rena attacks and starts choking Rena, I'm like, oh my god, is Rena really gonna kill Rena? Or attempt to kill Rena just to uh, scam the father? Like, that, like, I know Tepe is worse, at least from what we've seen, but that, like, irked me so hard. And just to, like, get a reaction out of me, like, that is great. And I think Rina had one of the more glorious death scenes. Like, just reading it in the visual novel was so brutal with her fingernails being smashed off and being hit with uh, the bat. It was really gross. And then even in the Studio Dean animation, they did a great job. Uh, Go and Sotsu wasn't great for it, but honestly, like, pink, pink hair demon can stay... Nice and cozy in B. Maybe bottom B. Nah. We'll put her above Kasai. If we're talking about Ghost Sotsu buff, maybe a bit higher, but... Yeah, I like Rina. I actually like Rina a lot. Honestly, like... <laughs> we're getting a little crazy here. Let's move Eerie down. The Toko... Now, interestingly enough, even before going Sotsu, Sotoko was in my top three characters. Um... I love Satoko. Um, I feel like before we even get to the Rita stuff, like the, Satoko and Rita represents two different brands of cuteness. Um, both very cute, but very different. Satoko was more my brand of cuteness, though when reading the visual novel, I, I saw a lot of comments saying uh, Satoko was actually their least favorite um, of the club members who just preferred Rita's cuteness, which is, I, I can see it. She comes off as haughty. You know, not haughty, but, you know, H-A-U-G-H-T-Y, haughty. Um, but I love it. I love her mannerisms, her overly polite mannerisms, um, her prank stuff. She was just a bundle of joy. And then Tatoru Roshi hits where they develop her character more. And I'm like, please stop. I just want her to be cute and funny. But her development is also 
good. Just in a very depressing way. And and we're not even going to talk about the ghost notes and stuff. Some people, I, I've, heard, I've, I've read a comment that they said they didn't really enjoy the direction Satoko went down from. Um, which made sense. It is kind of drastic and a very big turn for a character, though. Looking into Umineko. I guess the turn needs to be somewhere, right? Um, to change personalities. But, no, I mean, I love Satoko. I always will. She's she's great. She's a bundle of joy. She's the mascot tarot. Well, maybe not mascot of the channel, but I do use her as my uh, thumbnail. Or not thumbnail. Avatar. I probably will just keep her. I'm gonna put her slightly below Mion though. Oh no. Oh I, I don't wanna put my third up. I don't know if I can justify it when it happens. I mean you know it's coming just from the pool of characters, but anyways, let's let, let's Cross that bridge and keep Satoko there for now. Satoshi. Ah. I mean, what can we say about Satoshi? Honestly, like, the most appealing thing about Satoshi was the mystery behind him, I feel. Like, before even mentioning him, how he, how Keiichi resembled him in his actions. It was very fun theorizing about him. Once we meet him, I mean, he seemed like a cool guy. He had some good scenes. I freaking love the scene where Shien's just beating the shit out of Satoko and throwing shit at her. And S Satoshi just comes and, like, kits her and tackles her or whatever. It's great. Um, other than that, though, I don't really care about him. I did love when uh, he finally wakes up in at the end of Sotsu. Finally resolving that. It, it felt like a long time coming and it was great to see that resolved. Um, but I, I'll, I'll be honest, I don't really care about him too much. Um, so I'm just gonna put him top of C. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry Satoshi fans, but I just, I don't know. I just don't care about him. I care more about his uh, you know, the mystery around him and his relationship to Satoko and Shion and how it changed their characters and stuff. Speaking of Shion, um, worst sister? Or worse? Oh, I, I can't put her in B tier. That's too much disrespect. I actually, while I'm a Mion stan, I definitely grew to like Shion more. Um, I mean, my Tashi made her like from B to A. And her loving Satoko in the loving when she starts to love Satoko is also very wholesome I mean she had some great scenes the finger torture scenes iconic honestly a lot of her crazy stuff in uh Mayatashi is very iconic and she did play a good protagonist um uh, she she has to be above Hanyu I guess uh um yeah I mean I'm just a Mion fan I I can't really like like I understand if you're a Shion fan She's definitely more dripped out than Mion, except for going so too. She's the queen of drip in there, but I'll put her right there. Cozy there. Sorry, Hanyu. At least you're still in A tier. <laughs> so if you know me, my I've I've been saying for a while my top three characters are uh, Mion, Satoko, Takano. It might come to a surprise. Like why is Takano up there? Though maybe not that big of a surprise, because even though I thought. A lot of people don't like Takina. You know, just opening up the tier list maker, I saw a lot of people putting her near the top. Respect. Um, I mean, there's a lot of reasons for Takina. She kind of has the Sakura Mato effect from the Fate series. Though, maybe that's discrediting Takina a bit much, but basically Sakura was a character literally couldn't care about for two-thirds of the story. Then in the final arc, she literally became my favorite character in the... Uh, in the original visual novel series, with her bat story being complex and just doing a complete 180. While Takano was interesting, she was definitely like lower B for me. But her bat okay, first, Mina Doroshi. The chase scene, the kill scene was so emotional. If you've watched my playthrough, I've actually I was actually crying. It was horrible. I hated crying, but I did. I was crying when she killed Keiichi and Mion. I, I stopped after that. I, I was able to control myself, but it was so emotional. And Tatano was a great villain. Um, and then we get all the stuff in Mayatashi, her backstory, her growth. And, you know, whatever you can say about Go and Sotsu. Um, the, the finale, 
the how to how Tatano just had a blessed life like she literally did nothing wrong in the other in that whole series um never died by the way um just seeing her finally get some closure on her story was great um i mean and, and just the mystery around Takano throughout the whole thing was fun to do because obviously she was always suspicious but maybe because of that that kind of uh diverts your expectations for being the villain um her burnt body stuff was interesting she's hot i, I mean i haven't said that yet but if you've seen some of my other opinions and stuff that that's a boost but to be honest i actually didn't like think of that in the visual novel to the sprites but when you hit the anime dude like i, I she's great also, she's my favorite voice actress out of them. I love her voice acting performance, you know, ever from Umineko. If you're watching my reaction of uh, Book of Friend, Natsume's Book of Friend, she's in it too, as a friendly aunt. Um, I love Miki Ito. She's, she's great, man. The thing is, like, does Tatano, like... And I understand if you wouldn't break Tatano up. I'm sure you can put, like all the the big five characters before her and i wouldn't be mad this is definitely personal bias um but i i, I just love talking if you've seen my webcam i actually have a in my webcam videos i actually have a like a little talk to know thing on my uh, desk so she watches over the recording for good luck yeah i love talking though. that it, it might be more personal bias than anything but let's continue tepe who tepe's uh a herby <laughs> i love tepe dude and then even before wholesome tepe honestly for doing wholesome tepe he might even reach bottom eight here um but just even as a bad guy man is so over exaggerated complete stumbed like just a great great villain to hate because i'm sure before going so to no one was cheering for tepe right he's just a horrible person with some, uh, some things even implied, though never shown, um, making him even worse. His voice was great. I love the delinquent voice. His character's de design is so, like, scummy. I love Tepe, man. He was, he was a great villain. And uh, then, in Go Sotsu, they turn him around, reform him, and it was one of the best things I never knew I needed, because, because <laughs> of that. But, yeah, man, Tepe, Tepe's a great character. You know, I, I say great as in, not that I I personally, like, love him, but, like, just a greatly designed character for his intended purposes. And they did a great job switching that purpose around. Toma Taki. Honestly, I, like, I don't really care about Toma Taki um, too much, I think. You know, he has some funny moments. Obviously, he got some more development in Mayatashi. Though, from Iria and Takano, who got the most for the bad stories, I didn't really care too much about Tomotaki's. Um, as a love interest to Takano, I definitely approve. I think he's very good for her. And, you know, maybe that carries him on its own. Um, he's a very cute character. I actually love the lovey dovey moments in the fragment collecting with Takano and Tomotaki from their little talk about photography and um stuff like that and he's super ripped <laughs> um and, and obviously the mystery surrounding his death is the primary focus mystery for a while he's, he's a good character i just i don't know let's let's re reorganize before giving our final review on this masterpiece I've made. It's just been so long, I'm sorry, but lots of characters and it is Hidarashi. Ah, uh, how am I liking this? I, I like this order. Kimiyoshi. I. Oh, we're based. Fuck you, Kimiyoshi. Your, your best scene is just you dying. I, I like this. Kamida King. Kumadai Bro. The boys, Tomita over Okamura. Mr. Tofu Man. T for Tofu and Tomita. Kimiyoshi. Nomura is like a non character, but. I like her still better than uh, these two. Then we got C tier, Satoshi Ruling. 
Switch. Does I like where you better? Chia, Atene, sure. Atene, honestly, can move down to D, but again, you get the Mion boost. Lucky. Uh, can we move Rina? The, the answer is no. I like Rina. I like her being a stumbed. And I loved her death, so. We'll keep her there. Honestly, this is. I think this is just good, right? Oh, this one's. This is interesting. Is Rita. Like, do I like Rita more than Rena? That's the one that's killing me, man. I don't know. I. Like, Rena's, like. Even though I. Maybe I like Rita's character a bit more, just. How Rena was made, the bad story, all the scenes are just really good. That even though it's not personally to my taste, I feel like I just need to put Rena above Rita. As crazy as that sounds. Hani last deserved the no bully. Ooh, okay. Top three order. Who's my favorite? Uh, can I? Can I? It's so bad, man. It's 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 honestly not deserved. But I wanna do it anyways. So I'm gonna do it. Takino best character. You hate to see it. I think Takino Mion Satoto is the right order for me. Though, to be fair, you can switch them around. I wouldn't matter. You know, if you like this, you like this. Sure, whatever. I'm not going to stick with that. There you go. If you've ever wondered, Aiden, what's your favorite Hidrashi characters? This is it. The definitive list. I made it, so it means it's 100% right. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, definitely feel free to tell me what you think of the tier list. Or how you would... Um, how you you would rank some characters? Would you move some down? I'm sure, I'm sure people would uh definitely change SNA around some some of the characters around for sure. It definitely comes to preference, honestly, because all of these all of these characters I think are uh, the best characters in uh in Hidrashi. I guess arguably, but I think they they just stand at the top, so I wouldn't be offended. At all. But yeah, thank you for watching. You know, it was a long time coming. We, we finished Idrashi a while ago, but it's just fun uh, getting this tier list stuff going. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Again, if you haven't subbed, uh, feel free. Uh, lots of Hidrashi content from reactions to read throughs to concert re reading starting soon. We have a tier list of my favorite arcs in Hidrashi, which might be interesting to you. Um, you can just find that on the channel and other fun stuff so thank you for watching hopefully you enjoyed have a great day night and hopefully i'll see you again in a future video good night